Hey everyone, Necromancer Noob with another Remnant 2 video. In today's video we are going to be exploring and clearing out the Terminus Station, which can be found in the Nehrud section, how to get a nice new melee weapon trait, and in this dungeon we actually got the Red Pit event, so we are going to go through that as well. So the Red Pit is a special event that can occur in your dungeon in Nehrud. It can occur in multiple areas, but you'll know you'll have it is because there is a big red circular area with a big red glow and a red pit at the bottom and if you look in there you can actually see and drop down there so we're going to check that out and see what's up so what we picked up is actually the constant variable ring right there increases range damage up to 20 percent based on current weapons overheat value which is very good for specific weapons with the overheats and once you open up this door you're going to come across this purple big ball vortex you just want to interact with it and it is going to take you to a mini boss section the restless spirit aberration it is kind of the end of this event area so we are going to take out this aberration and we are actually going to get a mutator from it so let's check out what we get have it the restless spirit is taken out we are actually going to get the time wave mutator mod use applies slow status on all enemies within 7.5 meters for 3.5 seconds it upgrades as you move up so a very useful mutator at that you can apply that to your long gun or handgun and that is it for the secret area we are actually just going to take the exit door out we are going to take this elevator up and it is going to take us back to the starting area where we originally found the red pit section but that is about it for this spot so we are going to keep on exploring and check out the next few areas knock this out and get to the end of the terminus station now as per usual i'm just going to have most of this sped up as we are exploring the dungeon there isn't too much worth noting aside from that special event area um, if you did not get the red pit area that does mean you might have the possibility for other events occurring in your dungeon for example uh, there was a killer ball I came across uh, in a different section there was even a secret elevator that comes with a secret room uh, any of those can be a possibility that you could get in these areas so just keep a lookout if you didn't get one section it doesn't mean all hope is lost it just means you have a different area worth checking out so just keep that in mind when you're going through these dungeons uh, it's always random there's always possibilities you can get the same thing in a different dungeon or vice versa
shit. Now we are coming up to the end of this dungeon, we have the checkpoint right here and we are going to go through what is essentially the boss fight or the end area of the terminus station. Now it is worth noting that there isn't actually a true boss for this area, it is kind of a overtime sequence, you are going to face a horde of enemies and you're just going to take them out as you go on, each room you got a little more group of enemies you have to take out so we're going to get through this area and then I'm going to show you some few things that you shouldn't miss along the way. So another big note worth mentioning this is kind of a one-time thing so once you go through the sequence if you try coming back to this area in the dungeon you can't access it the door will be locked so this is a one-time go once you go through it and complete it it is done for you can't come back here if you ended up missing something so don't miss these items and last thing worth mentioning I actually think I did miss an item in this area the first run through so uh, keep an eye out for some crates and boxes you can destroy that will lead to a secret area with a secret chest you should get the hyperconductor from it it is an amulet I missed it on this playthrough so I'm just letting you know keep an eye out for that I wouldn't exactly know where it is because I didn't find it but either way I'm gonna let the clip roll we're gonna get to the end of the section and then I'll show you some other things that you shouldn't miss along the way Thank you. 
And at this point, you completed this objective, you completed this mission, you are going to get the trait footwork, which actually increases your movement speed while aiming, which is super helpful, a nice trait to have just in case you want to use that upgrade. We finished up that section and that is not everything that is done. There is the checkpoint right over there and as you can see there is one last area or room that we couldn't get into but there is a hatch open and a door up there that we can get to. So as we get to the checkpoint go underneath these wires there is a free chest for you with some free goodies and there is another set of wires you're going to go underneath a ladder that you can climb up and this will take you to that top area that we saw before. Once we get to that top area we can jump through and get into that hatch of the next train that we were looking at. Oh, here is that train pit at the hatch that we can drop right into. You will actually get the Atom Smasher, a very big hammer with some pretty cool charge <laughs> properties. and the decorum cipher over here which is actually used in a different section in a route if you have it so that's all we got for you today if you enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe comment it all helps out and i will see you guys in future videos see ya